Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to Garnet Tools. So, I just got back from another pawn shop. <laughs> I'm gonna kick it off right here and show you this uh, pretty nice Craftsman torque wrench I discovered in the shop. It's marked $29, but I was able to get this and this for 21 which is a pretty good deal it seems to work but i suspect i'll at least have to venture onto a tool truck to see how well it actually works if it's still in calibration or not the only thing that seems to be wrong with it and it's something i'm going to have to adjust the framing for is the o-ring here has got a good amount of cracking in it. So I'll probably have to replace that with a, I'm probably gonna end up putting a higher durometer O-ring. This feels pretty soft. I don't know if someone will replace this already, but yeah. So this and the wrench were $21 all together and I'm pretty happy about it. It still works. It still moves. It has a detent for every spot, which is pretty normal for older torque wrenches like that. They would click at every interval. But I kind of like that. It's kind of more positive. It's a better way to know. As some of you may know that the ones that don't have a detent like that, you can easily get this in the middle and when you go to lock it down it moves so you're not actually at your setting well this clicks and you know you're in your setting because it detents there but that's that now this wrench on the other hand is something special by the way that craftsman torque wrench is of course made in usa you can see that there so that's why I picked it up, had to, I just had to. But this as well is made in USA, but we'll get into that. So this is a inch and an eighth, quarter and inch and an eighth inch, her brand wrench, combination wrench. You got your 12 point down here, you're opening down here. But, uh, wow, mm, excuse me. Uh, her brand is a brand I do not have in my wrench collection. So this is gonna get added to the wrench collection and I just had to, I literally had to get this. This was the only thing in that pawn shop that was not Craftsman, pretty much. So, her brand was founded in 1881, I do believe, by Charles Thompson, J.B. Van Doren, and Jacob Herbrand. They started making uh, automotive springs and they started producing tools by like the early 1900s. They later became a supplier, a major supplier to Western Auto Supply and Montgomery Ward by the 1930s. Uh, later on, they were acquired by Kelsey Hayes in 1961, which uh, a previ previously, before that year, Kelsey Hayes had acquired Utica Tools in 1956. So the, uh, the, tool, the two, uh, at this point, when they acquired this brand, they already had Utica. So Kelsey A Hayes went on to buy uh, Bonnie in 1964. So you have the three brands, Utica, her brand and Bonnie under the same uh, 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 corporate uh, giant by like 1964. Well, Utica gets bought out from Kelsey Hayes, I suppose. I, I don't know exactly what happened, but I suppose they couldn't handle or, you know, the tough times fell upon them, competition, whatever. They couldn't handle it, so... A company called Triangle Corp stepped in and purchased uh, the whole Utica Tools Group. Now, at this point, 
the Utica Tools Group were, I believe, making all their tools in the same plant. But uh, once Triangle purchased the Utica Tools Group, every tool they made uh, until that Utica Tools was then absorbed by Cooper, uh, they were uh, stamped with a Triangle logo. So if you notice here, now, I'm probably going to have to get a knife or something to cut this off to assure, be assured of this. Let's see if I can. But I don't see any Triangle Tools logo on there. So uh, let's, let's peel this off and we'll have a look to see if there is, in fact, a Triangle logo. I don't think there there is. I believe the logo would have been higher up on the wrench. There very well may be. I'm just not sure. So I just got to get up under that sticker. And we'll have a look here. Nope, no triangle logo. None whatsoever. So it's it's pretty nice. Now this this never doll stuff is just taking that stuff right off of there. I don't know. Yeah, it's starting to feel pretty rough on this end. But I'll do this for a while and I'll come back. So after getting her all polished up and cleaned up and everything, I was doing some inspection on it and did some uh, light investigation and. I've come to the conclusion that this is not a 50 year old wrench. There's no two ways about it. Um, the reason I know that is I have older wrenches and there is no way that this wrench with all its modern features, if you look at the uh, stamping of the, the numbers, the stamping of the name, the USA, all this, there is no way, no way, absolutely no way this is that old uh if you can tell here it's got some pretty modern features how it transitions to the head here how the beam is rounded and how the transition here on the back end how it's bent right at the uh the box end for comparison i have this wrench which is a uh, vanadium tool company this company was purchased by Cornwell in the mid 70s and they I think it's it's a a listing that says the vanadium tool company after being purchased by Cornwell they would continue making tools with the vanadium tool co name and the Cornwell name so a little after that though it it lists a date that this vanadium tool company was merged out of existence and that was 1986 december 1986 i believe so the youngest this wrench this wrench here could possibly be is 31 years old so there's no way this wrench is younger than that wrench that wrench is a much newer wrench it has to be if you look at the features here how it transitions to the head the style of the beam not saying that all wrenches that old would have looked exactly like this but it's just the the features the, the what was going on in that time period if you can see here the the stamping of the 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 numbering here both sides the vanadium tool co if you can see, make it out there um then you have what looks to be if you see what happened when the box end got bent it's not just at the head it, it actually starts a little down here and there's a little bit of an angle from here to here it is bent and that's just the way things were made back then and if you look at this guy um it is not bent in the same manner it's only you only see the bend at the head at, uh, there's no other bend on this tool whatsoever so there's too many modern features on this wrench to be uh older than the triangle uh merger 
So what that means is uh, her brand, uh, the Utica Tool Group, which would have included, because after uh, Kelsey Hayes bought Bonnie, they wrapped them all up into one tool group called the Utica Tool Group. So it would have been Utica Tools, Bonnie Tools, and her brand. Well, the Utica Tool Group, uh, they ended up getting sold to Triangle in 1967. So this is not that old. Uh, after Triangle Corp had their run, which was a good amount of years, they were, Triangle as a whole, was uh, merged with Cooper Industries. So that happened in 93. So... After that you know, merger in 2001, I believe, uh, in 2001, Cooper shut her brand down. So for this to have this name, it would have been in that date range. It would have been after the triangle, since it has no triangle logo on it. It would have been after it. And the date range on this wrench is between 93 and 2001. I don't know the date that Cooper merged with Dana Her, but this would have been between 93 and uh, 2001. Now, that's only like an eight year span. And now you, you're beginning to see why this is it's as modern as it is because it was so not that long ago. So. This is about 20-something years old, and uh, the, the the actual youngest it could be is uh, probably, what, 16? The, the youngest it could be is 16 years old. So, that's that. Um, but it is a nice wrench. I'm glad I got it. Glad I went ahead and bought this thing. It it has some nice features and Bonnie is my absolute favorite brand and her brand it has a close relationship with Bonnie, uh, all, dating all the way back to 1964. So, uh, this is some of the features. If you can have a look at this Bonnie wrench, uh, if you look at the head, you can see that the, this Bonnie wrench looks like a miniature version of the head on that wrench. So they have a pretty close relationship. And if you can see here, the stuff on here is pretty modern as well. This also doesn't have a triangle logo. But you can see still that uh, the, the features on this wrench are not too modern. So I like it. I, I'm going to be adding this to my... Uh, defunct uh tool brands wrench set and once i complete that set i'm going to end up using it i'm not a tool hoarder i'm <laughs> there's no there's no tool hoarding going on with me uh these are made to be used they are tools so they are going to be used they are going to be put in my uh spear set for those times when my service van goes down and that's the only time these will get used but they will still be used on occasion. So to, to, to run it down really quickly again, Kelsey Hayes buys Utica in 1956. Kelsey Hayes buys her brand in 1961. And Kelsey Hayes buys Bonnie in 1964. They call them all the Utica tool group. That includes all three brands. And you, uh, Kelsey Hayes sells the U Utica Tool Group to Triangle Corp in 1967. Now, after that, uh, 1993 is when Triangle Corp merged with Cooper Industries. So her brand was then shut down, completely shut down in 2001. Now, what happened after that is uh, Cooper merged with Danaher. Don't know the date on that. And then in 2012, Dana Her sells the Apex Tool Group, which still contains Utica to this day. But they are a shell company of what they used to be. But they in 2012 they sold Apex Tool Group to Bain Capital. So Utica's still around today. Bonnie and her brand are not. So that's why I have Bonnie 
and her brand in my wrench collection, as well as Vanadium Tool Group Corp uh, Co, whatever they're called, in my Fallen Tool Brand set. That's that's pretty much all I have for you. Um, I'll be sure to leave all the information about everything I talked about in this video in the description. That includes if I can find anything about this torque wrench. I haven't searched any info on it yet, but if I find anything, I will definitely leave it down there. Of course, her brand and Bonnie, the information to those two will also be in the description. And of course, Vanadium Tool Co. Since I talked about it in the video, it will definitely show up in the description. So, as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. You can check out my Twitter and Instagram if you're interested. You can also support this channel by checking out my KC Tool Co. affiliate link. It will be linked in the description. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you're still here, consider checking out my other reviews of quality hand tools.